Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentine Jr. and today I'm gonna be unboxing the Oculus Quest 2. Oh my god! I am absolutely ecstatic because this is the first big purchase I've made myself. And I'm so hyped because it's something I've wanted for a very long while. So without further ado, let's get it open. We got my reliable scissors right here. So I've been playing VR chat ever since 2017 and only just recently have I really been playing it. Back in 2020, I started playing it just on my new PC that my mother bought me. Then later that year, I started using mods because I figured out what EMMVRC is and Melon Loader. After that, we come to this year in 2022 and my friend started letting me borrow his quest 2 and let me tell you it was a completely different experience i have not gotten bored in vr i have not gotten bored for vr chat <laughs> i have not gotten bored of vr chat in a very long while just because my experience kept changing there's so many different ways to play it and now i got my own headset i'm very excited to use it i also got myself a type c wire that plugs into my pc so i could see pc only avatars only problem is i'm gonna have to upgrade to a new pc because mine runs a ddr3 ram which is crazy <laughs> let's not talk about that i don't know how to get this thing out of the package oh this slips off here we have the box and now, oh, here it is. First controller, second controller, and we got the headset and this little piece that goes on it. it smells like new tech. I think these are the wires right here. It is the charger, cute. Ooh, the tape, taking it off of the lenses. I'm gonna constantly polish these <laughs> so I can put this on. I don't really know what this is full, but it surely is something. Oh, we have a silicone cover. I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe this is to cover the side where you put your face on. This is a very good starting off headset if you wanna get into VR. This is my starting off headset cause I do wanna get the HTC Vive. But for now, this is a great start for me and it's affordable for everyone. Oh, there's tape that's all around it. I didn't even notice that. Oh, so cute. Let's get this one. Oh, it's turning on. Set up my own quest, set of my own quest. We got this. So yeah, I actually know how to work the quest right now just because, uh, oh, there's little pins on the bottom that it's telling me to take off. <laughs> how do I pull it? Oh, there we go. I did it. These are so hard. Okay, there we go. I got that. Fun. Oh, I got it. English. Oh, screen clearly. Oh yeah, I see the screen clearly. Very pretty. We got this. Cause you could, you're able to adjust the lenses and you have to move up and down if it's not fully clear for you. Like if the screen is blurry, that means it's too high or too low, whichever part of the screen is blurry. Like if the bottom is blurry, it's too high. If the top is blurry, it's too low. Uh, Wi-Fi? Oh, it's giving me a little trailer. Choose safe surroundings and clear your play area. Use only indoors. Uh, let me tell you, funny little story that me and my friend was actually outside at night and the headset, the Quest 2, was working perfectly fine like late at night because there was just a little bit of light to the left of us illuminating from a building because it was like a bank or something. This was behind his house and there was a bank to the left that had like lights on the side of it. Even though there was just that light showing, it was able to still like be usable in the nighttime because of just that light. So. Even a little bit of light that you have, it'll work, which is bizarre to me. But if there's no light at all, it's not gonna be able to work. I don't know if that goes for every headset because I have not like researched much about new tech. As you can see, it's not my forte because I didn't even know that my PC was DDR3. I should have known though, because my PC literally has two lightning cable plugs, one for the microphone and one for the headphones instead of it just being one plug. So I had to get an adapter, <laughs> but you know, I'm learning, I'm slowly learning. I need to get my tech friends to teach me about all this. I said it's downloading updates, one out of two. So I'll check back in with y'all later in a second. Okay, so I had to pair my headset to my phone. They're gonna have you pair 
your headset and make you have an oculus account you're able to sign in through your existing facebook now i understand why people say you have to connect to facebook <laughs> but yeah currently i'm uh downloading vr chat i think it's already done it was downloading really quickly i could customize my view i didn't need a tutorial there was a tutorial that they give you but i already know how to navigate everything oh yeah vr chat's already downloaded <laughs> that's crazy oh my god <laughs> That's so cool, oh my god. So you're able to take photos on VR chat and they have you like request to allow permission. Apparently you could record on your VR too, which is crazy. About to sign into my VR chat account. I should try to connect it to my PC as well. But yeah, this is the 128 gigabyte VR Oculus 2 headset that I got. I was almost gonna get the more space one, but really I only got it for VR chat, so I don't think I need that. If anything, I do like taking photos on PC more. I am gonna have it connected to my PC too, so it's not gonna be that difficult. Ugh, they're giving me a tutorial. I don't need a tutorial. I already know. Put me in my home world. I'm going home. <laughs> I skipped the tutorial by just going home. <laughs> yeah, because I already have my home set up. I actually. So y'all want to know something? My homeworld is called Dreams Train. It's an amazing homeworld. Oh my god, so pretty. I'll have to show it one day and then credit the creator of the world because that is my homeworld. It's so amazing. It took a while for me to find my homeworld in VR chat, but then I finally found it. My little home. It's in a train. It's very pretty too. There's a lot of options to turn on and stuff. But yeah, so I honestly love the Quest 2. <laughs> this is my little unboxing slash review. I give it an 11 out of 10, an 1000 out of 10. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I got to get a headset finally. So you'll be seeing me playing VR chat on a headset, hopefully in future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Please make sure to like, subscribe and comment for more videos like these. Please tell me what you think about the headset yourself and if you want to talk about different features that it has in the comments below with me, that'll be amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Ah!